If you see something, say something. What do you want me to say, baby? What? Oh, you, you, uh, you're on the air. <laughs> I was just telling them the idea of if you see something, say something. Mm. But it's like, what do you want me to say? Nothing's happened yet. You know, and without anything happening, you're not going to do anything anyway. Suddenly you're looking at me like I knew something when something happened. He was always quiet, kept to himself. And I told my mother, if anybody ever says, well, how did you, did you, I never saw this coming. Because you see stuff on TV and the mother's always saying, such a good boy. And I told my mother, I said, please don't make yourself look like this stupid mama. Please don't stand up there and say I could have never done this. I warned her years ago. I was in my 20s. I said, it's possible. You know, you just don't know. And don't make yourself look stupid. But it's the idea. When I was living there on the Ingleside Terrace, uh, stand there morning after Halloween once, I come outside, I had my joker make a smeared and sliding all over my face, and I'm just standing with my coffee. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? There's a cop in my yard <laughs> standing there looking down at the neighbors. Hi, what the hell is going on? I said, is, is there something going on? He says, uh, um, well, there have been reports about this house. He says, just, so here I am standing there talking like a regular guy dressed up like a Ooh, fucking joker whore at Fort Bragg Boulevard on payday, all smeared up like that guy that I saw in, in the Bay Area the one time walking in a dress with makeup smeared all over his face because I'm getting my truck worked on in a bad place and he says, you know where I can get any crank? I'm like, mm -hmm. ah, no. And that's the thing. There, I have no idea. I have not been involved with these cultures, these communities. And so it's like there's a cop in the yard and I've been looking at the house myself. I don't know what's going on there, but something is weird. And then you hear from the neighbors after it happens that there were people running down the road, throwing off their clothes, women throwing off their clothes, running out of that house and just going naked through the neighborhood. It's like, there's a bunch of weird shit. I can't place it. If you see something, say something. What do you want me to tell you? But we see things, you can tell when something is off. And so that's what happened. I'm looking at the January uh, 6th, the 7th uh, subcommittee hearing, and you can say all you want about that. It's what I told to somebody else once. I said, yeah, I consider it a great joy to be able to see this stuff for myself without having to listen to somebody tell me what I see. You know, sure, you can look at what they had to say afterwards and, and play it with how you see it. But you, this is a fan... I don't think I've ever watched anything on C-SPAN or anything. I'm not going to watch that shit. But this is a big deal. We need to see this for ourselves. And here, this guy Raskin, he's showing all this stuff, bring up... And how this Stuart Rhodes is saying, uh, if you're not going to be there for the November 14th, Million Mega March, be at your state capitol and protesting and marching and doing whatever you're doing. You know, just getting a test run in. See how it feels to be part of a mob before you're actually allowed to be released and surprised. You know, get to know the people around you so you work together. Yeah, it's like being at a concert. Runs. It's a trial, trial run. At a concert, I always see one person. Last concert, we were, well, the Slayer concert, we saw this one person in the parking lot, and he was my guy. Kept seeing him. And later on in the night, he was about to get his ass beat, and it's like, yeah, this guy again. You will run into people and you have connections with them. And he was friendly with us. He's like, well, I don't know what it is. But here it was. And I go back and I came home from the place I was that day. And I told her, 
I, I saw a couple guys today. One of them was in a big rig. One of them was in a pickup just sitting there in the rain. And I had to go out and talk to him. And at the time, it was only three months since I'd had my head shaved. So I looked like I could be anybody. Most, well, look at it, me. I could be one of them right now. As it turns out, they're the only people that look like everybody. They have really gotten rid of cultural diversity. They probably still have their their caste system. You know, the gays are way down there. Where are all my gays tonight? You know, <laughs> you don't look gay. <laughs> Where's my black man? You know, they still keep them in their place, but they're all together. And uh, isn't that all they wanted in the college dorms? You can't go out and do that on your own drinking in the bar with a bunch of people. They, they need to have a program. Otherwise, it's troublesome. But these guys, I came home and I told her, I said, wow. And I said, why, why are you see? He says, going to leave my truck here. And, she says, and I'm out at the truck and the guy driving is just like this. And the, the guy that taking the paperwork, he's like, ah. And I'm like, wow. I said, these people are fucking crazy. And they said, yeah, we're going to leave the truck here. He met me. We're driving to the Capitol, which is like an hour and a half away. They're going to the Capitol that day for the protests. And when I look at the time frame, it was for the November 14th. They couldn't make it to D.C. Had to work. But they're going to the fucking Capitol. They won't sleep that day. That's all. You can go a day without rest. They did their part. But the manic look in their eyes, I realized it's any one of you that were out there for that and you talk about people that are manic, depressive, and you hear about how they must be off their meds, why don't they just take their medication to keep them in check? It's because you, you know now, you know how it feels. That fucking power. Just, wah, the manic phase. These people. And I saw that, and I said, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen here. And see, if I'd have said something, I would have just looked like a nut because nothing happened. They were just building up to it. But we all saw it coming. See something? Say something? I believe see something and back yourself into a corner and wait for these fucking people to come because nobody is going to help you.